So at last year's LISC 365 event, you gave us a sneak preview to the improvements and additional support for the LISC grant program. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, we, we think there's about four main areas we wanted to improve to kind of help make it more attractive, but also really to make it to support the projects better in yeah. what they're building, you know? So the first one, as mentioned, was this uh, increased funding. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the kind of the original grant, which we're now calling the Builders Grant, there's going to be a second grant, which is called the Boosters Grant, which will be for 85K, mm -hmm. and a third grant uh, called the Breakout Grant, and that'll be for 100K. And so wow. as you complete one, you'll then be able to apply for the next one. Um, and so that brings the total amount of funding just from the grant program itself to about 250K per project, which is possible. Wow. Yeah, so we think that's really like attractive um, to teams building that the funding is there if they're, you know, if they're building Yeah, that's successfully. substantial. Yeah, it's substantial, right? I mean, that's not a, that's not nothing. So we found a lot of the projects kind of, you know, coming to the completion of the, the first builder's grant and then are starting to look for uh, additional funding opportunities. And so we thought like, why not just keep that in house and kind of support them as they continue on. So that's the first one. Um, the second and third ones are kind of combined and that's just like adding a lot of additional support for the programs. So two of the ways we're doing that is one is we're building out kind of an in-house team that people can contact kind of continuously, be a live chat with, answer questions. And then obviously the benefit to them as well is that you can provide um, kind of learnings from the community and kind of compile information for them. So I think that's something that's very unique that we can offer, um, this kind of direct support. And so and then we just didn't want to keep it all in-house, so we wanted to bring in some external consultants uh, to kind of give their expertise, their viewpoint on, on how to do things properly. So the fourth one was just that we got some feedback from founders and people looking to build and saying that sometimes the application process can be kind of cumbersome or mm -hmm. can take a long time. Mm -hmm. And so we just wanted to kind of streamline that process. And so one of the changes that we've made um, to the program is that now to apply to the accelerator, you're going to have to provide a, a LISC proof of concept. Okay. Okay. And we understand that a lot of people may not have that. And so what we'll do is that there'll be an initial screening process, which you can do online, just answering some questions, submitting a video of yourself and a few other things. And within two weeks, you'll get a response. So you mentioned about some sort of additional support. What exactly type of services does that entail? I think it's a little bit up to the grant project itself. Um, there are certain things that we'll kind of, we, we do like them to receive externally just to make sure that you know, they're not having a blind spot about their own abilities in a certain right. field. But you know, the way we'd kind of originally thought about it was like from a development standpoint, it'd be right up front as you get into the accelerator program, you know, you get a, a few days of consultation with an external firm that just kind of go through any initial questions you have. If it's about the architecture of what you're building, right. if it's about best practices in crypto. So just kind of whatever is helpful to you. Uh, and then like a second phase, once you've you know, develop quite a bit where they kind of come in and review it and take a look and just say, you know, hey, you know, we think you could tighten this up and maybe this is a better way to approach this problem or this solution you're trying to build. Mm -hmm. So just again, so that's from the development standpoint, branding and marketing is kind of a similar thing where it's just kind of, you know, initially kind of just some helpful tips on like branding in general, you know, mm -hmm. creating an identity, creating a brand identity. And then again, towards the end, as you kind of go live and get launch your product on the mainnet, then it's a little bit more again some support about going to market, you know, how to creating that initial traction, um, advice for social media, things like that. What if I don't have a proof of concept, but I just have a great idea? Will I be able to apply to the grant program? Yeah. So again, so the application is the same for both. Um, and if you don't have a proof of concept, that's going to be fine, right? Because if we if you pass the selection process, we will give you four thousand Swiss francs just okay. to build a proof of concept, so that you can apply to the accelerator, right? Okay. Um, and if you do have a proof of concept already, great. You can apply directly to the accelerator and that 4K is actually added to your accelerator grant. So oh, wow. you get okay. that either way. So how do I sign up? Yeah, <laughs> so how do you sign up? That's pretty a great good. question. So yeah, actually it's really straightforward. Um, just go to list.com. There's a page for the grant program and accelerator. Hmm. And uh, there's just a link to the type form. Fill out the questions, okay. send the links that we ask you for, and you'll hear back from us within two weeks.